This is just a small um, fitting that I might, may or may not use. I just got it in case. This uh, company I found on uh, eBay. I'll leave you guys the link, but it's uh, all the hydraulic side lines for the AC compressor. This is a uh, door edge seal weather trim. I'll leave a link down in the description as always. Got this off Amazon. I think it was 60 bucks shipped for 30 feet. Enough to. These are uh, Breeze uh, liner clamps. I'm gonna need this on the return side of the uh, compressor or the uh, hydraulic line. These are really nice. I've used these in the past, but uh, see how the threads won't uh, the threads won't tear up the uh, hoses like they normally would. So these are pretty awesome. I'll leave a link down in the description as always. This is a uh, CNC cut uh, trailer plate, trailer hitch plate, and I'll leave a link down in the description. This is from Jeremy Gauss. He's also on the um, LMTV Facebook page. I think from time to time I, I see him on there. I think that's all we got for today, guys. Guys, check this out. I picked up a spare air compressor and a hydraulic pump from my buddy Martin up the street. He's got a bunch of trucks that he's parting out right now and trying to piece uh, some of them together and recondition them. And he's gonna be selling them here. Coming up, there's six, some of them are six by sixes and uh, he's gonna get them titled and registered and all that good stuff. So I'll try to include a link to his Facebook page so you can get in contact with him. I wanted to show you guys something else that I got that I didn't think I'd like, but I really love. This is a uh, steering wheel cover by Grand General. It's the same company that made my taillights. And check this out. It's real carbon fiber laminated between um, a clear PVC cover and the inside, it's probably hard to see, but it's a thick rubber. Um, and this is like a perforated um, PVC or vinyl. And uh, I didn't think I'd like it, so I didn't post the unboxing of it, but I absolutely love it. Um, they make a bunch of different kinds. So if you're into that type of thing and you want a nice steering wheel cover, and you got this type of a steering wheel, look for an 18 inch steering wheel cover, and uh, I'll post the link down in the description for this. All right guys, I'm gonna show you a uh, layout of how the hydraulic side of the AC compressor is going to work, so. Um, I want to give my dad a shout out for uh, checking with the Freightliner modification engineer and confirming uh, the details of this setup and that it would actually work. So I just given a shout out to my dad and uh, thanks for the help with these uh, all the questions that I had. Um, so the first thing I guess I'm going to do is this fitting right here on the hydraulic pump is going to get changed out from a 3 8 to a half inch to increase increase the flow rate uh, just a small bit so in stock form these pumps flow two to seven gallons per minute when they're brand new um, if they've been sitting around for a while they probably flow two to six and a half gallons per minute uh, the air conditioning compressor that I have is rated from 1.1 gallons per minute to 6.2 gallons per minute. Um, the high end of these hydraulic pumps is rarely seen and there's also a uh, pressure relief valve, uh, drain valve on the uh, air conditioner compressor on the hydraulic side of things. So I'll just get that out of the way 
in the first place. I'm gonna do a little diagram here. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm gonna draw it in some sharp. I'm gonna close the door again. So the components of the system are as follows. You have your pump, which is that guy right there, the hydraulic pump. You got your steering. What else you got in the system there? Well, we've got the AC hydraulic motor. You also have a um, solenoid that uh, will control the AC hydraulic motor, so we'll put a solenoid right here. Now, um, and of course then you have your reservoir. Now uh, one thing that we initially thought is uh, we could run this in parallel. So if you run it in parallel, coming off of the pump, you have a T and then it branches into the steering and the hydraulic motor. But the problem with that is the power or the, yeah, the, um, the steering, the steering box actually has flow through. So the fluid would take the path of least resistance. And then when you went to turn the steering wheel, there'd be like 2,400 PSI going to the hydraulic motor and the AC, but it, it in theory it wouldn't work because the AC would call for a demand and all of the demand would go basically through a sieve. it just go out one side of the uh, steering pump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this in series and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So from the pump, we're going to upgrade that line to half inch and it's going to run into the steering box. Now the normal return line that goes into the steering box is going to go to the, uh, the AC hydraulic motor. But here's the thing, we need the solenoid to control the hydraulic motor. So from the steering, we're going to have a T in place and the other side of the solenoid is going to go to the reservoir okay and then the other side of the T is going to go to the hydraulic motor on the AC and then the other side of the hydraulic motor of the AC also goes to the reservoir so what happens is you've got a 24 volt signal that's fed from the uh, Humvee red dot AC unit from the pressure switches on the dryer so when there's a demand, the solenoid will close and the return path that was open that was going to the reservoir is now closed so it's going to flow through the hydraulic motor. Now if you're driving straight down the highway, the hydraulic fluid is just going straight through the steering and the hydraulic motor is getting you know, the five gallons per minute or whatever it needs to uh, maintain uh, pressure in the uh, refrigerant side of the system. Let's say you turn your steering wheel. There's gonna be a demand on the steering system for a moment, and then it'll flow through again. So then the AC hydraulic motor will pick up. So let's say it was mid cycle on a uh, compression cycle. The steering would take over the pressure. You'd still have a residual amount of pressure going through the AC hydraulic motor. But eventually, once you let go of the steering, the uh, AC hydraulic motor would pick back up and go um, right back to the reservoir. Now, there's one other thing that I'm probably going to install on the system because I know everybody's going to say, well, your hydraulic fluid is going to get really hot. Okay, that's fine. We're going to put a power steering cooler in here. It'll be a, just in the line on the return path somewhere. So I've got that coming, so that eliminates that process right there. We're going to have a cooler... Uh, on the return line. So that's how I'm going to set it up and uh, we're going to test it and it's about 87 degrees out right now in the afternoon here in Scapoose about 2 o'clock. 
Uh, I'm going to go in for the day and uh, we'll start bright and early tomorrow morning and get this system set up. If you guys uh, like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit like, and of course if you're not subscribed yet, I'd really love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. But other than that, take care. I hope you guys have a great evening or afternoon, or morning, or whatever time may be. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.